guys so I'm gonna go ahead and do a tag questions um, it's my first one I decided to do it nobody requested or anything but I decided to do it just for fun I seen so many videos that I'm like hey I think I need to do one too so anyways oh first of all I want to show you guys this earrings that I purchased a while back and I've never worn them so I said hey maybe I should do them put them on today I like them so anyways so the first question on this um, it's 20 questions and I'm getting them off my computer I found them online and um, uh, so these questions are just random I found the tag I am like let me just do it so it's 20 questions and I'm gonna go ahead and start the first question is things that you cannot leave the house without well if I have that's my bird sorry so um, the number one thing I cannot leave my house without would be my phone I could not live without my phone the day I do forget it I feel like I'm missing like my other half or something so that would be like number one thing I think the second thing would be my purse and um, the third thing would be probably money um, number two favorite brand of makeup you know what I don't have a favorite brand I like everything it could be expensive it could be cheap but I think um, my favorite would be for if it would be eyeshadows I think I would go with Mac eyeshadows because I think they have a lot of pigment and um, they're very bright colors and you have you know I just think it's the colors are really nice but um, face wise I don't like Mac at all but um eyeshadow wise I think I would go with uh, Urban Decay I actually like those um, but like I said I don't have a favorite I like everything I am a Mac freak I mean makeup freak so I like everything but if I had to choose between um, eyeshadows it would be Mac and and um, other anything else would be probably Urban Decay I don't have a favorite Urban Decay NARS Makeup Forever um, Kat Von D Benefit Too Faced I like everything anyways uh, my favorite flower is I forget the name of I know it's my favorite flower and I shouldn't forget the name of it but um, it's the Hawaiian flower I don't know what the name of it is on top of my head but I actually even have a tattoo uh, can I twist my hand I have a tattoo of uh, my favorite flower anyway so that's my favorite flower favorite clothing store I don't have one I like to buy my clothes everywhere I go to Torrid I go to Lane Bryant I buy stuff at Target um, Ross uh, Marshalls um, TJ Maxx so yeah those are my favorite stores I guess um, favorite perfume, oh my god, my favorite perfume in the whole wild world is, um, Light Blue by Dolce Gabbana. Oh my god, my favorite, my favorite. Love that perfume. Heels or flats? I go with flats. I will not wear heels. Um, flats are my favorite shoes. I love them. I have, like, tons of shoes, flats. So that'll be my favorite. My favorite color, no, hold on. Do you make good grades? When I was in high school, junior high, and elementary, I did. I was not an A student, but I never had D's and F's. Um, do you drink energy drinks? No. I did try it once. I drank a monster, and I felt like I was going to die. Uh, my heart was going so fast. I decided not to ever, ever drink one, although they're so good, but no. No thanks. Um... Favorite color is purple. Yes, purple is my favorite color. Um, let me see. Do you drink juice? Yeah, but not at the moment. I can't drink juice. I can't drink anything that has sugar. So, not at the moment, but I do drink juice. Do you like swimming? Yes, I do. I learned. Um, I live in a um, mobile home area, and um, 
they have a swimming pool and I moved in here when I was about 13, 12, 13 and um, I learned how to swim there and I love swimming. Haven't done it in a long time though. Do you eat fries with a fork? You know what? Sometimes. Sometimes I do, especially when I have my nails on. I don't have them on at the moment. I actually need to go get them done. But um, when I have my nails on, I do. I have to. I don't like food going in. You know how the acrylic stuff. Um, favorite moisturizer. You know what? Um, my favorite moisturizer has to be one from Mary Kay, the moisturizer. And it has the age fighting. Um, so I like that for now. That's kind of my favorite one. Um, do you want to get married later on in life? Yes. Who doesn't want to get married later on in life? I do. I mean, I haven't found anybody at the moment, but who knows later on. But I do want to get married and have a family. Um, do you get mad easily? Oh my God. Yes, I do. And I am not proud to say that. I have a very bad temper. Um, if you get on my bad side, um, it sucks. But I try not to be... A mean person I am guessing it's not being mean it's just that you get me mad and I'll be mad so yeah I do um are you into ghost hunting no I'm not I am a scary cat I freak out I don't like none of that stuff I get scared easily um any phobias yes I do I have a phobia um, my phobia is actually being inside a really small room, like a restroom, um, or like, you know, just, a like, elevator. If we're in the elevator and, um, we get stuck, oh my god, I think I'll die. So, yeah, it's happened to me before at my friend's house. She was having a party and I went to the restroom. I'm guessing the door got stuck or something and um, I couldn't get out and I was freaking out, panicking. Nobody could hear me until I kind of had to yell and yeah, I got rescued. But anyways, I was having a really big panic attack. Do you bite your nails? No, thank God I don't. I do not bite my nails and I just like when somebody is biting their nails because I'm thinking about all those germs under your nails yeah no um have you ever had a near-death experience yes I have when back in 2000 and I want to say 2004 I was diagnosed with gallstones in my bladder and um, it was the most horrible pain anybody could go through. I will never want anybody, even if I have tons of enemies, I wouldn't even want my own enemy to go through that situation. Um, it's the most painful pain you could ever have. Point is that I had to go under surgery. When I went under surgery, I, it was just an in and out surgery. You know, like, go today and you leave tomorrow. But for some reason, when I was going under surgery, um, when I was ready to wake up from um, the anesthesia, um, I could hear what was going on, but I couldn't wake up from pretty much my sleep. And um, I could just hear doctors rushing in and out of the room, and um, I could feel like they were trying to shove something down my mouth like a tube or something and I'm like wondering you know I'm just thinking like what's going on I'm gagging here like why are you trying to put this uh, through my throat you know like I was just tripping out not knowing what really was going on and um I they just couldn't put it I was throwing it back out I was throwing it back out so I just you know out of a sudden I just feel them shoving a tube like it felt like it was the like, biggest tube ever the thickest tube down my nose and I could just hear like them pushing it in there and it was like pretty much like it felt like they were breaking my nose. Um, I could feel blood coming out, out of my nose and I'm like what is going on with me? And they sh rushed me to intensive care and all I could think is what's going on with me because I couldn't talk. Um, because that, that tube was going through my throat and it was blocking something. I don't know what it was. it's called but it was blocking... Um, 
something I forgot that doesn't let me talk. Anyways, the point is I was in intensive care for about two weeks. I didn't know what was going on with me. Um, I just would see my family come in and out, you know, my uncles, my aunts, my cousins. And I'm like thinking, what's going on with me, you know? I'm go I'm, I was here just to get a surgery and now I'm stuck here, like what's going on? And then um, finally one day, I I wish I could remember him because I don't. Sometimes I even think that it was my angel. Um, he walks in into my room and there's a nurse there and he asked the nurse what was going on with me. This is the actual first time I heard what was going on with me. I'm sure my parents knew already because they would, I mean, they would tell him, but I didn't know anything. And I'm sure they told my parents and I heard the doctor ask the nurse what was wrong with me. Um, he was, I guess he was just a brand new doctor with my case. And he, um, the nurse um, told him, oh, um, she had a surgery for gallstones and, um, she had the surgery and I'm guessing they put too much anesthesia into her system that went right to her lungs and her lungs collapsed. Pretty much I couldn't breathe on my own. That's why they had to put that tube down my mouth but I wouldn't be able to take it and they just put it down my nose. So that was my, um, that was air going like oxygen going into my lungs because my lungs weren't functioning because pretty much they were asleep so much anesthesia went to them that they just couldn't wake up so that's what happened and that doctor that day he told me I'm not gonna let you leave from here dead I'm gonna help you get out of here you're young I was probably like 19 like you're young, you're a very young woman, and you're going to walk out of here alive and normal. And you know what? Like, I don't know, but I felt like right after that, everything was getting better because they had already told my parents that if I made it, I could have probably be, um, like, slow. Or if I made it, I wasn't going to be able to breathe through my nose. They had to put, like, a hole in my neck. Um, there were so many different things that they had told my parents, but you know what? I thank God, and um, I thank God he gave me another chance because, you know what? I was really bad, so I could say that I have um, been near death, and um, it's not a fun thing. So, yeah, that's actually what happened. Um, I really don't talk about it, but... Um, I guess it's good to let it out sometime. So, yeah, I've been near death. It's nothing that I'm proud of because I don't want to die. So, I am, yeah. So, anyways, next question. Sorry, it was too long. This is the last question, and it says, Do you drink coffee? Uh, who doesn't? I drink Starbucks, and um, I haven't been drinking it for the past two weeks. Tell you. It's the hardest thing ever. It's really hard. So, um, I guess I do drink, but not at the moment. So, yeah. Um, so that's the last question. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to do a tag, let me know. Just send me a message, and I'll be more than happy to do a tag. So I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll just talk to you guys later. Please, please, please like my video and um, comment. And you could also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, also, I will be putting the link to all my um, social network. Um, I pretty much have my Twitter, Facebook, and my blog and Tumblr. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.